Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, with your analysis for August 22nd, 2016. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We're still stuck in the same range we've been in for a while. We're still stuck in the same uh, kind of uptrending market here where we're really not seeing major gains being made, but we're not seeing any pullbacks either. We've had one day pullbacks, uh, which have been followed mostly by strength. This, this recent Friday here, we had a small close lower than the, than the open of the day, so it was a down day here modestly. And now we're starting the day with a little bit of weakness here. So we'll see how this continues to materialize. I believe as long as price remains above 2170, every pullback into that zone could be a quiet buying opportunity back up. Failure to hold 70, though, opens up a return back toward 2155 and that 2158 FOMC level. But right now, not a real lot, a lot to do, especially with the modest volatility heading into Labor Day weekend uh, and the tail end of the summer here. It could continue to be this way until the volatility picks up. Let's take a look at the intraday time frame. On an intraday basis here, uh, we do have a key range that we've been watching since last week. That key range right here is a very modest key range that comes in from 2176.75 to 2165 half. And that is your clear key range. Your midpoint here is 2171. And you can see how prices are trading uh, above the top of the range trying to hold. You see in every time price tries to hold above the 50% expansion, it gets rotated back into the previous high there. So very clear where the market is kind of positioning themselves right now. I say any failure to hold again uh, above 2175 short term could auction this thing back toward 2165. Um, and that, that could be significant here short term. Uh, any push above 2185 has targets uh, up to and as high as that 2196 half. So we could be looking at some nice clear air above if prices can push beyond 85s. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. This is a daily time frame of crude. We've obviously had a lot of strength here lately. One thing we, we talked about in the trading room was recently here, uh, tough to see with a, a lot of these drawings on here right now, but we had a very modest digestion day right here that formed Friday. And this was on the heels of, of having a major, major rally here, big time push up. And I mentioned heading into Sunday night or Monday morning, if these, these stops come out, we could see a key stops run day. That could lead to a nice push downward. And then we have to see how the price closes today. So just because we had a one-day pullback doesn't mean we, we drop all the way back to value. Now prices have to close below, at or below 48s, in my opinion here. So they need to linger down in this path. Uh, and then coming back into the previous session's low on Tuesday would be a selling opportunity for a continuation. So we'll see if that mechanics holds up basically the low on on Friday 4855 uh, the ability to hold below that low would be significant uh, for further weakness and any short-term pullback will likely be a buying opportunity for a continuation and, and a pure test of that 50 and beyond so this is going to be important to see how prices play out today any failure to hold above 4855 would be significant and short term that could open up a return back toward value I do think any pullback still an opportunity to defend for bulls. So let's take a look at the intraday time frame here. On an intraday basis, what you're seeing here, again, uh, that previous low, we have it marked here by the, the key range. Here's the high, here's the low right there. And this is what we talked about Friday. I mentioned that there's a lot of bulls here defending, 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 but they re weren't really getting paid. I said as soon as the stops come out, it'll be an easy drop across this range. And this happened to happen uh, overnight Sunday and Monday. The break came and not actually Friday afternoon. But right here, you can see price hit that 100% expansion target exactly as we would draw it up. You can see it tried to hold below it for a couple of counts here, failed when it got back above it, made it support, and now it's up. So you can just see how this, this key range has played out nicely. I'd say right now, if price can get above the LVN, there could be an opportunity to see this thing come back up toward 48.35 and 48.55. I would say that any bounce in the 48.55 wants to be controlled by bears for an attempt to continue lower. Above 48.55 opens the door to a move across the range at 49.36. All right, let's take a look at gold futures now. Here's a 
gold chart. Let's bring it up to a daily. Here we are. One thing we've been talking about with this chart is obviously the 1362 half key level right there. And again, that comes off the key range. Key range high, key range low. That's the Brexit shakeout move. Uh, price tried to hold above the top of the range and failed. We called this rally back up. Price tried to hold above the top of the range here. We were looking for weakness. Uh, but price came back to 62 halves. And over the last week plus, bears have been pounding that level, attempt to keep it resistance. Uh, what I mentioned before is this is where bears are positioned. They're looking to return prices back to 13.06 or 13.10. But if they don't get paid soon, the stops above this level get run, and you could see a big squeeze here. So above 1365, above 1370 would be significant here if this thing starts to head north here because all of the bears that got in here would start to get their stops run and that would trigger a response much, much higher. We had, we do have upside targets here that we can focus on at uh, 1390 and 1417. Failure to hold the FOMC level of 3430 opens up a return to 1306 to 1310. And again, with the significant uh, rejection area right there, that LVN, this would still be a prime area for bulls to defend and look to return back toward highs between 1370 and 1380. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. Here's the NQ. This one's been uh, drifting higher. Every pullback has been a buying opportunity. Uh, really, again, very similar to the ES, nothing really much to do here. Uh, the main thing is when price pulls back, it's usually a buying opportunity right now. Uh, this 47.65 has been an important key level, 47.30, 46.80. These are all important levels that the market has left behind in the wake of this uptrending structure. So this 47.65, should price come into it, usually that would be a cause for another buying opportunity. If it fails to hold, you have additional key levels down here where the market is likely to target. But for right now, this thing just continues to trend higher until proven otherwise. Um, this 4820 has been significant. Remember, that was the 100% expansion target on the key range. Price hit it and failed, and since then, it has attempted to hold below it. Again, that's very similar to that gold where bears are trying to defend here, but if they don't get paid soon, the stops come out. So we have a couple of levels here to watch. I still think that selling up here is not the best idea just yet. Pullbacks are great buying opportunities if you do have to counter trend sell you got to be mindful of your risk. Taking a look here at the intraday time frame uh, to wrap it up. On an intraday basis here, uh, the NQ looks very good. I mean, you have a very, very tightly coiled range. Again, here's that 48.20 we just talked about. So price tried to hold above it. When it came back down, you can see all attempts right into this area. 48.15 have been defended so far. So that's exactly what you want to see if you are in the market. You want to see where the bulls are positioned. You want to see where bears are positioned. Right now we have a bit of an ascending wedge that's developing. So this tightly coiled pattern right here could spark some significant movement here to begin the week. I would caution that if price breaks down first, watch for any signs of failed range expansion because that could be an opportunity to gun this thing the opposite way as the stops come out. Same thing can be said on the upside. I mean, if this thing comes up here and can't hold above 20, that could be a, a clear sign that we're about to try and break the opposite way. So this thing is building up some energy and could feed uh, a very nice trend here early in the week. So we'll continue to watch this range. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the new week of trading. Good luck and trade well.